Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. It is the second day of winter and no birthdays today. We have some flour in our inventory which we need to put into the fridge. It is a snowy day but Snowdrop appears to be outside. So let's go find her and take her for a walk. Good morning darling. We need to go and take the grasses in our inventory over here to the textile chest. I really need to widen that path at some point. Now that we have some space in our inventory. Actually, before we go and check on our, our uh, spring garden and the earth sprites, let's just see about the ingots. We need more of both iron and silver before we can make a couple more sprinklers. Let's let's go to the spring garden. The onions are not ready yet, but the turnips are. So let's harvest these. And also mix. Oh, the uh, strawberry seeds are not quite ready yet. They will be any minute now though. Just need to wait a little while. Once they are ready, we can take the strawberry seeds out and start making some turnip seeds. And one more. There. Let's sow the strawberries. And I guess that's that. We can go and see the Earth Sprites now. We have found two new followers. One for the Journey Sprite and one for the Care Sprite. Let's see what these sprites have for us. Fishing bait base and blue, blue crab. Logs and a supple log. Goat milk. Shimeji mushroom. A five star one. And at the shop. Nothing I'd want to buy at the moment. Chestnut Monaco. Tomato. Oh, 
iron ore and grass right oops you're the one who takes us back home let's make some space into our inventory work like rain in that our crops seem to be watered even the ones that don't have sprinklers set to them that's nice yes this is where we have the fishing bait base thought so Let's see if we can use that crab in cooking. Just out of curiosity, is there like a boiled crab or something? Not at the moment. But if we had some more sea creatures, we could make some things. But I don't see any, any like boiled crab or anything like that that we could make with just crab. Right. I guess we can sell the snow crab then. Alternatively, we could set up like a sea creature chest. But Maybe sometime in the future. Let's pick that up. Does the fact that it's snowing also mean that we need to take fodder to our animals? I wonder. If the snow works like rain, maybe it does. But then, snowdrop is out, so maybe the farm animals will want to come out as well. Hmm. Let's go see about the requests at Town Hall and talk to people. Hi. I'm usually not doing much of anything, so talk to me whenever. Nice, I will. Yo. Lazy days are the best. They are. Yo. Phew, I think it's about time for some coffee. No time for coffee for me. Got lots to do. Tough cloth. I can do that. No title rewards. Well, let's go home and grab one tough cloth. Also, 
since we now have a big barn, maybe we could get one of our milk animals pregnant. Yeah, the wool animals still live in a small barn. But the milk animals... Who would we like to get pregnant? Zinnia, maybe? Alright. We'll see how that goes. Talk to the animals out in the field sometime. I think they'll like you. I get so nervous when animals are cr close to giving birth. I wish I could be more composed like my mom. I'm sure you will be able to as you get older. Your mom has done this stuff for quite a bit longer than you have. The calm and composure will come with experience, I'm sure. Let's, let's get some fodder for our animals. Hello, Harebell. Buttercup. Here's some food for you. And let's make some mayo. A big barn allows you to own even more cows, sheep and other livestock than ever before. If you use the breeding services at the animal shop, your farm family is bound to grow even bigger. That is exactly what we have just done. Hello Ginseng. Cornflower. Let's get you all cleaned up. Petunia. And Zinnia. I wonder if you'll give us any milk tomorrow. In these kinds of games, pregnant animals usually don't, but we'll see. Hello Dandelion, Daisy, and Willow. Here's some fodder for you as well. I'm just assuming that since they don't like to come out in the rain, they probably won't want to come out when it's snowing either. Right, let's make some alpaca yarn and rabbit yarn. And, uh, oops, some woolen cloth and some rabbit cloth. And it was 
stuff cloth that we needed for the request. Right? I think it was. Let's get those yarns into making. And those cloths as well. Now all we need to do is... Oh, we still need to process the milk products. Let's make some goat cheese. Some butter. And some goat milk yogurt. We can sell those and put the egg in the fridge. And then all we need to do is take the cloth into the town hall. And after that we can do whatever. Maybe go mining for gold. Let's do this delivery. Hello, Jacopo. Yes, you've said that before. Time goes slowly when you're working and quickly when you're off work. Here you go, Jean. Mayor doesn't seem to be at his desk. Let's get back home. And maybe we should go mining for gold. We do need quite a bit of it. It would be nice to upgrade the woolly barn as well and be able to breed the woolly animals and then of course it would be awesome to upgrade our house and get a bigger fridge. Lots of flowers. I think I'll just gather these. There are sometimes requests for these. There's one more. Oh, hello, what are you? A grey rabbit. Yeah, I really do want a bigger woolly barn as well. It is getting full. Alright, what should we name you? Um... I should have been prepared for something like this to happen and thought of a name beforehand, but I didn't and, well, since you're grey, maybe you could be Ash? We'll need to get you some fodder as well, Ash. So let's get one more out of here. And 
And while we're here, let's put the flowers away. Here you go, Ash. Some food for you as well. You are so cute. Welcome to the family. We still have some time. Oh, mushrooms. Let's gather these. And there's some peppercorn. And pink cat flowers. And that's that. Right? Uh, what about that bee house? There it is. Rotted beehive. 20 durable lumber and 50 tough grass. I think we may already have that. But just in case, we could cut some more grass. Let's just make sure that we have 50 or more of this tough grass. Got some flower sprites in the process. Nice. Oh, that's smooth grass. That's tough grass again, right? Let's go see about the grasses we have. Oh yeah, we do have plenty of tough grass. Let's get 50 of it out. And then we need to get 20 durable lumber. Right there, we'll only have 10 left. So we'll need to get some more durable logs and, and process them into durable lumber but for now let's go repair that beehive I wonder if it'll produce anything in the winter setting a flower by a beehive will draw bees to it after a few days, you'll be able to harvest the honey-covered hives. Well, we'll have to go to the flower shop tomorrow, tomorrow and see about getting us some winter flowers. Lumber, solid lumber, supple lumber, 50, 40, 30. I wonder if we have enough. We do have some of each of those. But perhaps not quite that much. Let's see. Ah, we're missing a couple of lumber. Quite a bit of solid lumber and a few supple. 
lumber. Let's put these flowers away. And let's go see about our lumber makers. Ah, they're done. Well, let's go and take some of each of those three types of logs. So the very basic ones and the solid ones. And the supple ones. That'll make 10 of each kind of lumber. And then we'll just need 10 more of the um what was it called? Solid lumber. So soon we will be able to restore the stables as well. Some more silver ingots. We really do need more of the iron ingots as well. A lot more of them. So let's see if we can get some iron processed. Ah, it's empty. Alright. All the gold has been processed, so let's put some iron in. And soon we should be able to make a couple more sprinklers. Let's sell the red barrels and the mayo and those zero star mushrooms. Oh yeah, we should remember to buy some mushrooms. I think they will grow in the winter as well. Let's put the sage into the fridge. And we need to process the pepper. Now, which maker was it? Not that one. This one. Yeah, I, I guess these are watered. Even the two fields with no sprinkler in them. Hmm. Well. Hopefully we'll be able to make some sprinklers soon. So we won't have to worry about the watering. Let's make some clam chowder. What is that topping here? Oh, bread, okay. All right, let's make some clam chowder. We can give this to Ralph tomorrow and we'll top it with some cheese. There. And it is after 11 p.m. so let's 
call it a day, save the game here and continue on to the next day, next time. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting and subscribing. All of those things really help this channel a lot. Please remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time.